G'day swingers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I hope you enjoy. I apologise for the lack of content recently, I've just been so busy, haven't had much time at all, uh, so sort of backing off on the videos a little. I have some footage, but I just got to get time to edit. Um, so we're out from the goldfields today, me and Ninja, my first target. <laughs> I was just around to show you this. I was not expecting that to come out. Got the belt uh, buckle of an old suspenders clip. Really tiny pin section. I've never found one of these before, but that's awesome. Little old suspender pin, the fastening bit, which would have gone through the material, and just held them in place. I imagine they would have hurt so much back in the day, stabbing yourself with those. As I said, it's my first target, so I'm just going to double check, make sure the rest of the buck wasn't in the hole. Seems like there's more in there. Could just be falsing out on me, which it seems to be the way. There's no significant large target around, so I will investigate further with the detector. In fact, what I got here. Yeah. Do a quick stand up. There's a quiet target beside it. I'll use listen. So just here, right beside the hole. So I'll give that a very trashy round, but uh, I'll give that a quick dig and I'll get back to you. In the meanwhile, the first target. I'm chasing gold. We got a nice old relic. Let's keep swinging. Oh, alrighty. As you can see, it's humid and thick today. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating bullets, and it's all just made it all worthwhile. I'm just working on the top of a massive, massive mullock dump. Um, black slate country. I thought I want a black slate specimen if I can find one today. I just tripped over a really quiet target. Listen to this. All I heard was that. I dug it up, an ICVG in it without even having to wash it. That's awesome. So it's not black quartz, but it's that, sorry, the black um, slate, but it's a dirty quartz. I'm just going to give that a bit of a clean. that dirty dirty goodness there's definitely a nice little spacey bit there can't see it rolling around on the other side yet oh wait is there a little glint sticking out the edge it is just where my th thumbnail is a little piece in there my uh, brand new 10 by 5 has just struck its first piece and it's a spacey so i'm happy as all right let's uh actually i gotta show you i uh i lost my old gold container and I uh, was out of the shop one day and I come across this really funny looking lollipop and the uh, inner child came out of me. I couldn't help myself but to buy it. I'm glad I did because I lost my gold container but now I've got a gold bucket. <laughs> it's literally got its own lid and all. So, first one in, first one ever, it's my gold bucket. Let's keep swinging. Alrighty, so we're back at base camp. As you can see, we're both pretty sweaty and, and dirty now. Grotty. Yeah. Um, Ninja's had some luck. So, as you saw earlier, I got my specimen. <laughs> this is Ninja's. Look at the chunk sitting just in there. Focus. Not going to want to. I'll flip his around. Look at that. Hello. Right in that vug, right where we right hope next to, to see crystal. them. Yeah, nice. There's a crystal right there. Oh yeah, the actual facet of it. Yeah. You can see that's one edge of it, and the other one just inside. Yeah. So I'll give it that clean up, and I'll get back to you in a minute with a, uh, a close-up of that clean, but that's got some weight to it, dude. Yeah. Very one-side heavy too. Yeah. I reckon that's going to be a good half a nice one, mate. Thank you. Give you a yeah. fish bump live, because we haven't done that in a while. <laughs> nice. Yeah, listen to the sound. So, the so this, this is his one. So it's got a bit of tone to that. 
how high up can you get it from it? Yeah, okay, so about the same distance as mine for my little piece. Interesting. So while you got that, I'm gonna get me a little gold bucket. I wonder if mine will hear your nugget. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna get to check. It's pretty pretty loud on the uh, 10 by 5. Definitely a nice little point one in there. Yeah, about an inch and a half. Yeah, so I've got that about three, four inches off a little one. Yeah, you've got the super sensitive super coil. Nice, we're both on. You? What we like, bro. So you get your face in there. You're not the guy from uh, from Reach, we can actually show your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Colgate or what? You know, you know the one. Anyway, we're going to uh, enjoy a little snack, get some fluids into us. And then we continue on, so what else we can find. Back it in. <laughs> Alrighty, so he's given it the clean. It's actually not a specimen, which is the oddest thing. It looks like a specimen because there's gold sticking out of quartz. But if you pay attention to the hole where the gold's sitting, that, my friends, is conglomerate. You can see all the fine sedimentary stuff in there, all the oxidized heavies that were in there and there's actually a little piece of ironstone beside it or herm uh, hermitite another piece right there beside it there so that's actually a alluvial piece of gold that's wedged itself in whilst being in a water course many million a year ago and uh that's where it cemented itself in so that's where it's going to stay because uh when do you ever do you find a specimen that's not a specimen that is a specimen <laughs> <laughs> that was a mouthful to say, but I enjoyed doing it. So, anyway, we're going to keep swinging. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Anyway, we'll enjoy our day. Have our lunch. We'll get back to it. Poor Ninji. He's digging away. And he's like, oh. And he could hear that shock in his voice. And he's like, I thought I had a sovereign. Until I brushed it, it was like, all I could see is gold. And then I'm like... <sighs> Someone dropped a bloody dollar right near the mine entrance. Yeah. Right next to it. 2013. Yeah. Something weird going on there. In there. Looks like it's been in a fire almost. Yeah. Oh, 2001. Weird. Oh, it's a Federation dollar. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, that's a good letdown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. bro. Oh, good it's gonna come one day. Will be there the That's it. You're not gonna get out swinging. You ain't gonna find it. Oh, well, let's keep swinging. So what else we can find for the day? Oh, I got the shakes right now. I just got a whopping target down there, right? You can see it's pretty. Much, it's full pinpointer depth. I just got a crazy specimen. You gotta listen to this. This rock here. It's a full blank. It's got weight. Oh, yes. Oh, that, I, I moved that rock and I thought, there's no way that can be my target because it kept just sort of hitting one side of it. Oh, look at it. Oh, the chunk. Oh, that has paid my uh, coil off. First day out with the, uh, the brand new coil. Like, I can feel the weight in that. I need to clean this properly because this has got mass and a chunk. Oh, Ninja's going to be chuffed. Sorry, I just had to swat away a mozzie. Just trying to get in my ear. Oh, yeah. Let me clean it up and get back to you. I uh, do apologise for this, the shake still. I'm just very excited over the moon at the moment. This honestly weighs about half an ounce, this, this uh, specimen. Um... It's one of the heaviest specimens I've ever found, for, and especially for its size, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, very interesting. I'm going to have to give that a good clean, and it's going to need a NASA job. Uh, I can't scrub too much. There's a lot of ironstone there. Um, unfortunately, it's very reefy gold. Sorry, go away, muzzies. Um, and it's wanting to break off, so there's a little piece that's actually come off, and it's in my jar now. But I'll give it a good clean when I get home, because it appears like it's coming down through here as well, which is very interesting. You know, I'm going to keep swinging around here. If I get another target around here, I'll uh, definitely do a live dig. Now that I'm on something interesting. Oh, I'll back to you shortly. 
Swing it on. Well, as you can see, we're chilling out. We're having some uh, some tucker at the moment. And uh, dealing with that thunderstorm coming in. So we can't detect at the moment. The machines are going spastic. So, I mean, we could. It'd be a hard ask, but, oh well. What's the point? We've got on. We're happy. Sure, there's relics around here somewhere. What you seen in the first clip for the day, so surely we're going to get around and uh, have a look for some of those because that AMI is going to play so much havoc. Tell them about my trip. Oh, well, yeah, Ninja, I'll chuck a photo up here of it. Um, he was here a while ago and found himself for 1857 trip, as you can see here, um, in one of the, the ruins he found. So we're going to target one of the other ones he found. He never got the chance to go back and swing over. Um, apparently, there's a few more around that area, so we'll both take the noxes in there and have a crack and see what we can find. Swing nice and close so I can show you his targets and he can see what I'm finding and we can sort of see what's coming out of the ground. Anyway, I'll get back to you shortly when we're out there swinging. But uh, we've got a few drops of rain in the meanwhile and we're looking forward to getting a little bit wet because it's warm today. Back to you soon. Alrighty swingers, so as you can see, these are all the finds that I found on the day. Uh, quite a bit of stuff, a little bit of trash. You see a few bits of iron, random tacks, bits and pieces, you got a boot tack or furniture, I'd say it's more of a furniture tack actually. Maybe even just for the uh, inside of the hut or something maybe. Some tin, another little possible boot tack or furniture tack. Bottom of the tin itself, whole bunch of lead shot. You got one uh, little blast cap or um, percussion cap for a, a an old style pistol and the good stuff for the day as you can see managed a few nice finds so i uh, didn't actually get any footage because i ran out of memory and i couldn't afford to remove anything surely for the fact that there were footage that i needed for uh episodes that i've already just put out but i yeah now at least i'm showing them anyway uh, so this is just a, a lead uh, little sort of decorative thing that I believe was on some sort of horse tack. As you can see, there's a, a little like, lead rove on the back there. And it's just been sort of hammered and mushroomed over to stop that from falling out. Uh, it's sort of decorative in a way, which is pretty cool. So I don't know exactly what that was used for, but interesting on the same. Uh, I managed to find a button. I uh, got myself a nice little brooch. And a suspender clip, as you saw at the very start. Uh, as for the two specimens, as you can see, this little one here, uh, nice little piece in there. I didn't bother doing specific gravity on that. Uh, I'll probably end up crushing that out very soon and getting that bit out. But this one here, uh, I did do a specific gravity on it. Uh, and according to the specific gravity test, there's approximately 1.57 grams of gold in this one. So quite a nice piece indeed. Uh, I was surprised to to find that on the first day with the brand new coil but uh yeah i'm very happy i did because that literally as i said paid it off in the first run uh there's a little bit of gold sticking out of the very end there as you can see nothing on that side visible uh i think there's tiny little bits visible on this side uh, where was it so there's a slate layer on it but it's not quite in the slate Well, actually, now that I'm seeing this on video, it looks like there might be some gold inside that pocket there, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a nice pocket of gold in there itself. So, very happy to have found that. Especially on the first day with a brand new coil. But uh, yeah, I'll chuck a photo up of all three species here. As you can see, we did pretty well to find the three specimens together. I uh, didn't chase the gold too much, it was just too hot and those storms came through so yeah it just sort of gave us way too much EMI and we're constantly getting little pew signals everywhere so we constantly kept thinking we had targets when we didn't. So we just figured it was easy to go with for the relics. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching, good luck and happy swinging. Salada.